Yesterday I was talking about Quantum and how we have just a handful of good C++ Q styles that actually theme the applications and one of them is surely Lightly. And by the way, the developer who, of Lightly, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, looks, looks, I guess, um, was actually active in the VDG room and we were able to like give suggestions and such, which was very nice. This is actually a fork of uh, Breeze. So it is based on the Breeze theme and that also tells you that it's not really easy to start a Q style theme from scratch which again is why Quantum exists in the first place. But in this case, Breeze was forked and it was improved, of course, in a direction that Breeze itself couldn't quite take because it's a different kind of theme. But for those who like this kind of things like transparency and stuff, uh, it was improved for those people. And it's a rather interesting theme. So I've got in installed and let me actually tell you right away how to get this. And again, depends on your distribution. Uh, if you are on Arc or OpenSUSE or Fedora, it's fine. Otherwise, you have to manually um, build this. I was on Ubuntu, I had to build this. It's not particularly difficult. You just copy paste and you're done. So it's pretty easy. It's not as easy as clicking uh, get from the KDE store, but still. So let's open up Dolphin. Now, by default, it might look somewhat out of place, somewhat, and that's simply because some components such as the title bar are not actually directly themed by the application style. Because uh, I know that sounds weird, but the title bar is not part of the application. Uh, it's a decoration that's added by the window manager. So that's themed by the window manager using decoration settings. Uh, themes, sorry, and if you want to theme this to be consistent, I think I think that installing uh, Lightly should also give you one window decoration for consist consistency. So here it is. Okay, Lightly. So you also switch that one. Still, you can see that we've got some nice things such as uh, the sidebar is actually transparent, which I personally love. I should probably use a normal color scheme. But uh, not only that, Lightly also customizes stuff like uh, buttons and tab bars. And you can see this here nicely. These are tabs and they don't look like this at all in Breeze. They will also look like this, I think, if you use like Kate, in theory at least. Okay, in this. Yes, you can see that they use a different style compared to default that you might prefer. It actually looks pretty nice. So yeah, you can you can customize some of the, of the things like uh, the transparency, of course. Context menus are also transparent to some extent. You can see that by right clicking the wallpaper, you can see that it is transparent and you can change the corner radius, but I don't actually remember how this one works, so sorry about that. It still might require some tweaking uh, of the theme to actually get to this perfect look that's showcased in the screenshots. However, that's due to applications made of, being made of different components and each component has to be correctly configured like the decoration, the application theme, the color scheme and everything. So that is uh, slightly annoying to set up actually. I think that you also need a color scheme to enable this completely. Yep, sorry about that. It's slightly and um, it, it improves it somewhat. So now it's more consistent and um, the blur is broken for the decoration. That's another thing that you have to correctly set up and stuff. So, you know, uh, there's probably, it's probably better to use the force blur plugin to uh, try to deal with these things. It's something that actually requires some work to get perfect, but um, that's how rising works. So if you like to customize stuff, so you also need to give it some time to actually set up everything properly. So. But if you do have that time and you do want your desktop to look flawless, you can achieve it. And uh, I do think that uh, 
some like third party distributions could make use of some lightly out of the box because if it's out of the box, then you know it's correctly configured. The reason why uh, very few, like Lightly hasn't quite been, um, nothing of Lightly, let me say this, has been upstreamed to Breeze is, well, not only the fact that it has a very clear, distinctive look, which is different from Breeze, and Breeze is not really interested in trying to be something else. It tries to be Breeze and tries to improve at it, but also there's the fact that some of the things that Lightly do, does, sorry, are somewhat hacky things, just like Vantum, in order to get the blurred, um, it's not currently blurred on my computer, but in order to get the blurred uh, toolbars, you do need some uh, hacks. So that's a sad reality. Hopefully, again, that will improve in the future, but for now, Lightly is probably, in my opinion, the not first party best application desktop style that we currently have. So check it out and uh, tell, me, tell me what you think of it. And by the way, yeah, it's still broke. Yeah, some names are still missing from the list. I'm so sorry, but I, I, I'm trying, okay? <laughs> I'm doing my best. If you'd like to contribute to me doing these videos uh, about things in the uh, KDE environment and Linux in general, then you can do that. There's a donation links and I should anyway show uh, support like all of the people that are supporting me in the list because I gotta say thank you to all of them. It's such a nice thing to do if you think about it. Anyway, see you tomorrow.